y'all welcome to the daily vlog so today this morning i'm very short of breath and the sickness whatever it is is causing my asthma to be really bad so last night i decided to use my inhaler and it helped a little bit but it didn't really do enough because I'm still short of breath. So I I am very conflicted because today is Monday. Normally I'd be headed to the gym, but it's sad because like, I, I just feel so sad. I just feel like completely ambushed. <laughs> I mean, that's like the best way I could put it. Cause like I was start, I was supposed to start my business and go to the gym today and you know I have school that I have to go do tomorrow so it's just like I feel completely ambushed right now but it wasn't this bad yesterday my throat is no longer sore it's just like a very shortness of breath so I guess you can say it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but I really hope that it starts to get better tomorrow because this really sucks. <laughs> so I have this um, little device. It is Fluticasone Furate. And it's, I was given this, prescribed this for my asthma. So I'm gonna try it, hopefully it helps. But I'm gonna wait a little bit before I can like actually tell. I'm gonna take two puffs of my inhaler. Hopefully that helps because, yeah, it's really sad. Like I know I shouldn't go to the gym, not only because I'm sick, but because I have shortness of breath. So unfortunately, I guess I'm gonna have to just skip out on the gym today. Oh, it's just so sad. So I have my inhaler. Oh my gosh. The inhaler definitely helped, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be temporary. I'm gonna do another puff. I'm just gonna keep my inhaler on deck today. Um, unfortunately, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip out on the gym. And I'm just gonna lay low, not do too much today, cause I don't wanna make it worse. All right, I feel slightly better, um, meaning enough to function, but today um or at least right now um i'm not gonna go to the gym i'm just gonna skip out on that today but i was able to wash my face and brush my teeth um i still have some spicy noodles um i also have cereal and just you know little snacks and stuff like that take some notes study a little bit probably gonna watch a movie i've been wanting to re-watch uh black the black panther sequel and I have my class that starts at 5.30 online, so probably just gonna be there for that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much how my day's gonna go. Pretty simple and stuff, but you know, when you're sick, what else can you do? So this is the first Black Panther movie. I truly enjoyed that as I was sniffling away and blowing my nose. And here I'm just writing in my journal I like to do that at least once a day if not once every two days but I like to try to keep up on my journaling and tracking my you know emotional mental type progress and then now I began my class it was online so here I am just taking more notes and doing some assignments here and as for dinner, I felt like I should cater more to my 
part chakra so i have this humongous english cucumber and avocado and i'm having some buffalo wings and i'm also going to be having this with some rice uh, the buffalo wings were really good but definitely could use some ranch or some ketchup but i was eating it with the rice and this is some spanish rice i got from the dollar store so i just heated that up in the microwave and put it in the bowl and it was okay it could use like more salt um but yeah i decided to add some avocado to this dish just to add more greenery and i love avocados by the way and i can't believe this avocado was like two dollars for one avocado like this is crazy but anyway this is what it looks like it was pretty good hello y'all so it's 10 30 it's the end of the night and what a day like i watched both of the black panther movies then i was taking like maybe four maybe even six pages of notes and then i had class then i ate as you can see and now we're here so i am still feeling terrible i kind of have a faint headache as well so just bad um i don't know if it's cold or if i just feel chills but every now and then i'll feel chills i'll feel extremely cold so i don't know if it's you know the flu or if it's something else but i'm pretty sure it's the flu i just i don't understand how i could get the flu if i've already took the flu vaccination but i'm not even gonna touch on that i'm just you know if you take the, the vaccination then you should be immune that's just how i see it still short of breath hopefully i feel better tomorrow probably if i wake up not feeling good i'm definitely sleeping in um, but I'm about to take, um, two more puffs of my inhaler because since I took it this morning around 10, I've been taking two puffs every four hours. Cause that's, you know, as directed, I am exhausted. Whew. Second one, let's go. I definitely feel a lot better after that especially for the first like 20 to 30 minutes but anyway i'm gonna keep taking this little device because honestly when i was first prescribed it and i got it i was supposed to take like all of it but i didn't because i didn't really feel like i needed it at the time you know but yeah i'm definitely gonna take that every day until all of this subsides i'm also going to start taking this iodine um, it's just a supplement for your thyroid. And before, hi, I literally took like a whole droplet, like a whole this full, but you're only supposed to take like a literal drop. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's it. I literally took a whole droplet full, like about that much. It literally says take one drop once per day. And when I took this, when I took, when I overdosed on this, I like literally was so tired. I just slept. I was just sleeping like a baby. It definitely has a funny taste to it, but what the water's for definitely didn't drink enough water today but i was just busy studying and watching a movie i didn't want to have to get up every like 10 15 minutes to go pee i'm gonna end it here i will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully i'm feeling better the inhaler definitely does um help but you can just tell like your girl is struggling to breathe and I just cannot wait to overcome this sickness and I'm going to be a little bit more precautious of like, you know, touching my face, touching my eyes, making sure I'm using my hand sanitizer, you know, making sure I'm wiping down things with my sandy towels because I don't know. 
this city is a small city so I, i'm not surprised that it's just being passed around like freaking telephone you know but anyway i will see you in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah bye